so um, first of all, let me start out by um, you know expressing my sincere condolences to the Steinle family. Uh, I hope that they do not interpret this verdict as diminishing in any way uh, the awful tragedy that occurred and that their family has suffered. Uh, this jury's verdict should be respected. They heard the evidence. They deliberated as a group. They heard readback testimony. They looked at the physical evidence, and they rendered a verdict uh, to the best of their abilities in accordance with the law. Uh, I want to thank the public defender of San Francisco, Jeff Adachi, who has given us support throughout the trial. He's given us uh, good advice and we're very grateful for his assistance and help and support. Um, for those who might criticize this verdict, there are a number of people that have commented on this case in the last couple of years. The Attorney General of the United States, the President and Vice President of the United States. Let me just remind them that they are themselves under investigation uh, by a special prosecutor in Washington, D.C., and they may themselves soon avail themselves of the presumption of innocence and beyond a reasonable doubt standard. And so I would ask them to reflect on that before they comment or disparage the result in this case. I'm going to allow the other attorneys to make a few remarks. Thank you all. This is a, a powerful day for all of us. Um, I also offer my condolences to the Steinle family. This was just an incomprehensible tragedy. And many of us who are parents really can, can feel um, the, the just extraordinary tragedy of what happened. I do want to talk about the political ramifications of this case. From day one, this case was used as a means to foment hate, to foment division, and to foment a program of mass deportation. It was used to catapult a presidency along that philosophy of hate of others. And I believe today is a vindication for the rights of immigrants that today we have to reflect all of us on how we talked about this case in the beginning and how this swarm of, of reflection and reaction on the base of what I believe to be the racial dynamics of this case. Nothing about Mr. Garcia Sarate's ethnicity nothing about his immigration status, nothing about the fact that he is born in Mexico had any relevance as to what happened on July 1st, 2015. We believe the verdict is a correct and accurate reflection of the law and what happened on that day. Thank you.